Hey everybody, we're about to play Super Mario World. Let's play! I'm John. And I'm Richard. And I'm Jeff. And so, uh, we're actually about to do attempt number two. That's right, you guys are going to get the, the whole story here. This second one here was the one we were just playing. And then it crashed out on us. So you missed out. Trust me, you missed out on a good Let's Play. If you watch this and you're like, this is awful, that's why. But if you're watching and think that's good, imagine how good the other one was. At least four times. Four times is good, or just think about it four times? At least, think about it at least four times. <laughs> think about this at yeah. least four times. So, uh, I'm gonna go with Mario, and uh, are the two of you gonna be lame and be Luigi? Luigi's best. I'm not... No. No! <laughs> Luigi's... Look, he got really? stuck on a house in Super Mario. How do you get stuck in a house? Well, the door is locked from the outside. I mean, on a house. You're getting a call <laughs> from the attic, and you don't know who it is, oh. and then you call the police, and they're like, the call is coming from the attic. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Well, like, he's yeah. on a, But here's the thing, he's on a house, he's like, Mario, come help me, and then we come, and we somehow get them off a roof, but he can't get off a roof. He's just lazy. You know what? A lazy man. Oh, them's fighting words. No, Luigi's useless, okay? So oh, no, useless. Last, last time around... I let you guys, like, I let Jeff play Mario once while you guys were playing Luigi, but now, no, this time around, Mario's all me. You guys can, you guys can have your Luigi. <laughs> what was that? Not that thing. What the- you, Oh, what was you, that? You got through the clouds? Jumping on the dude? <laughs> I got through the clouds jumping on the dude, that's right. You know, I've never done that before. So, people, if they're just tuning in, you found this somewhere else on the internet at all. We're part of Google Game, we're a non-profit in Newfoundland and Labrador. We game and raise money for kids, do all these things, but we're doing a Let's Play here now. Check out GoodwillGaming.org four times. And if you're lazy, GoodwillGaming.org. <laughs> nope. If you're lazy, I'm yeah. gonna say it again. If you're really lazy, like, go look it up in Google, but that might take more time. Type in Goodwill Gaming Newfoundland. So that's that's a thing that we do. Uh, so right now we're just playing Mario. This is fun. Um, I I you know what this? I don't know like my favorite Mario game. It's really hard to decide. But this oh, oh. first death first, first death. death oh on level my God. one two one two. I seem to remember one of the people sitting on the couch to my left who you can't see, but it's John. Who died. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he died in the first Goomba uh, during one of our playthroughs in the first Mario Bros. game once. Uh, okay, first of all, that wasn't during a marathon, and that was also like... I don't even think I was drunk, I, can't, I don't have a reason, yeah. what did I do? Exactly, you get overconfident and then you die a stupid way, just like that last time. Yeah, it's totally but, forgivable. But no, it wasn't... It, but I didn't die just now, that was you that died, I'm playing Mario. Wait, was it Richard or you? It was Jeff. I don't. I, play I Mario. just raised my hand. <laughs> Jeff, Richard, did you say I don't die? I don't play Mario. No, I. Not today. No, I meant not who, who died is Luigi just now. Luigi. Okay, so not neither of you. Luigi was playing himself. Yes. Okay. We the controller was on the yeah, couch. We're, we weren't touching it, and then Luigi. Wow, this just gets dirtier. Let's move away from this. So. uh... What? Are there innuendos that I'm missing? No. There, we were talking originally about our favorite Mario game. We were, and again, Super Mario Bros. 3, I think is it. That or Super Mario 64, but I'm really a big fan of it. And, and speaking of Super Mario Bros. 3, I gotta say, it's actually probably my favorite map. Like, I really, really love the Super Mario Bros. 3 map. I don't think it's been, like, they've tried to replicate it, but they've never been able to replicate it since. Really, you know how, like, they keep doing all these new retro games? And I'm not talking about, like, new Super Mario Bros., but, like, how they did Mega Man 9 and Mega Man 10, so it's very much in the style of the old ones. They should do that with Mario. So, like, Mario 3 2. <laughs> the sequel of the third. Of the third, yeah. Mario 3 the second. Speaking of Mario 3 the second, Star Wars, Disney, hey? What does that have to do with a I, Please explain that segue. Because there's so many things <laughs> that should have ended off before they did, just like that last speech. I don't, I don't even know what you're saying anymore. Exactly. But what I do know is that I'm actually looking forward to Star Wars, Disney. Do you, how likely do you think it is that they're going to throw in some references to Disney in Star Wars, Disney? Like have an alien race that looks like Goofy. <laughs> god, I hope so. I, I hope Chewbacca's voiced by Goofy. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Max! <laughs> and all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, as a kid, I remember playing this level here. Um, 
like my dad used to rent this game for me. It was really, really great. And uh, this level here, for some reason, I don't know why, intimidated me. I liked it, it w but it just for some reason it intimidated me. I don't know what it was. It's because. In some areas there's ground, in a lot of areas there isn't, and you're not sure where that is. I guess that's what yeah. it was, but like it wasn't like fair, it was just like, in I, I don't understand why, but I felt intimidation. Were you ever intimidated by like carnival rides? By carnival rides? Yeah. Not really. Cool, because I feel like the, the Sweeney platform things are totally carnival-esque. I didn't, I, I wasn't really intimidated, I just didn't ride them because they scared me. But not in an intimidating kind of way, but in a kind of way that I was, I, I'd cry. Cool, so the fact that I was intimidated but I'm not scared also means different things? I like, believe a fear and intimidation are slightly different. Yeah, I mean, if you look out at these machines, they're gigantic hunks of metal and stuff, and there's this scary looking dude in front of you being like, give me a ticket, kid. That's kind of intimidating. That is a little scary. Yeah. You know, as I collect all these coins, I think about it, and I wonder, how much are these coins worth? Like, how? why is he still a plumber? He is always collecting all these coins and all these games. I guess it was a career that he kind of just plunged himself into. <sighs> But just like, why? Like he has all this money, and he's staying around. Like, is it that this money isn't worth a lot? Maybe the princess just likes people with a lot of money, so he just has two jobs. He just has he's a full-time hero <laughs> and a part-time plumber, or like, is it the way around? Okay, so the coins. Like, what are they worth? What's the translation of these coins? The 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 the, the, the exchange the, rate. Exchange rate. There we go. Thank you, Richard. Anytime, John. Like, are they like? Oh my god! Are they like one, like one thousandth of a penny? Like, if you did the yeah. million coin challenge in the new game, like you have like what a dollar? It's like point zero zero one cents. Point zero. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, it's like one one thousandth of a penny. So like, I'd be a dollar, I think. Yeah. Maybe. Dollar? Yeah. I think oh, so. No, I, like if you collect a million of them, you'd have a dollar. I think that. Is that I mean, is that correct math? Uh, sometimes when I do math, I like to pretend that I know math, so I'm gonna say ten dollars, because there's an extra, there's probably an extra Alright, so any somewhere. math wizards that happen to be watching this on YouTube, you can figure out if John or Jeff is right, it's me! Did you I just think. summon a math wizard? I just summoned a- I hope- I want math wizards, I want people like- I, I want people just being like, whoa, whoa, and like just flipping out at one of us for being wrong. I just want to see a wizard with like a math robe. <laughs> with a math robe? He'll be a math magician. <laughs> I put in my robe and- Math textbook? And protractor? And protractor? <laughs> oh. I never actually go behind that. I actually hate doing that. I don't know why. I have to get over my fair. Oof. But it, it freaks me out to go behind. I hate it. Really? Yeah. I always like going behind because it's like, oh my god, look, it's like 3D when it's not. Uh, 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 there we go. So I went, I went, I went behind that thing twice. I feel like I've confronted a lot of fairs today. That is. Pretty much the only fair I'm going to confront for 2013. Congratulations, you got to witness me confronting a fair. You will not see me, however, ride on the carnival rides. Because those, those carnival folk are they're, they're intimidating, apparently. Do you think they ever feel bad for a while and then just stop caring? About, bad about what? The games. Are they There's, all rigged? Every single game there is rigged to a certain oh, degree. Like, oh, yeah, do you think like they have a conscience? Yeah. Uh, I don't, here's the thing, like, I always hear, I don't know how, like, you know, true these rumors are, but I always hear that a lot of these carnival places, um, it's, uh, it's, um, it's like ex-convicts and stuff working there, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, apparently it's more likely for roofing companies. Roofing companies? Yeah. Really, so the people who are on top of your house are yeah. the ones most likely to rob you. Santa Claus. Except he's Santa horrible. Santa he goes, he goes and rob you, steals a couple of cookies, and then, like, leaves behind a whole lot of loot. Like, that's the worst criminal ever. That is, yeah. What a, what, like, how much are cookies worth to him? That he, he comes for the cookies and leaves you that much? I'd imagine about as much as Mario and the coins. Oh. Wait, so cookies are worth so little he brings all this stuff? So then what is everything else worth? Well, he's trying to, like, show off. He's like, look at all my iPods and dogs <laughs> and stuff like that. And he's like, oh, look, a cookie. Eats the cookie, gets scared, and runs away, leaving his iPods and dogs. <laughs> look at all my iPods <laughs> and dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I would show up if I had like five iPods and a couple of dogs. Oh. Although then again, what do people think you're doing like a dog walking business? Like, hey, look at my five dogs. I'm like, oh, that's nice. Are you getting paid by your grandmother? The perfect front. Are you getting paid by your grandmother? You know, I remember playing this level uh, as a kid with <laughs> oh my god with friends, and like they always mess this up somehow. This part here, they would never be able to get up. The only thing that's funny about that like story is I just said. 
when I had friends, but I didn't really have any friends ever. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna get the thing this time, I don't think. I'm it not. was a- oh no, Yoshi! Uh, it was a really rare treasure, though, to be able to play Luigi. That's why I liked him so much. I play Luigi. Yeah, if you think about it, like, you'd have to have at least a friend, or you have to be very patient, sit with the other controller, and just constantly kill Mario. <laughs> Right? That's all I have. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, also, I have. <laughs> you're doing a Yoshi bombing now. Oh my god. Uh, I have a question I need though. The feather. Yes. When it comes to this, you know, you're, you're on Yoshi, all the stuff. Yoshi likes to eat things. Yoshi can eat a power up, and then you get the power up. How does I that just work? I did that, and it didn't work. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I just. I don't know. Like, wow, just look, look, look at Yoshi go. Are you joined through the saddle? No, Yoshi go. <laughs> Go Yoshi, go Yoshi, oh, no, go. No, 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 no. Don't lose like uh -oh. Yoshi. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh. It was like Bonnie and Clyde, but not. What? Not Bonnie and Clyde. What was that movie with the, the people that drive off the cliff at the end of it? Team Rocket? I think it's the, the Friendly Little Toaster. <laughs> the Friendly Little Toaster. <laughs> the Friendly Little Toast? Yeah. The Friendly Little Toaster are good. I... We record like five movies in one videotape as a kid. I forgot what they were called. <laughs> I, I, I used oh, to have oh, those oh. too. I remember a movie called Five Will Goes West. I yes! Do you know that one? It's the sequel to American Tale? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. It was, uh, who was the, the guy who played the cat? Like, John Candy? Also, you just lost Yoshi! I'm sorry! You're pretty much a terrible person. I am also, a horrible person. This game portrays athletes in a very negative light. Yeah, like, they're just there, right there at the goal, like, trying to block you from... They're pretty much like goalies. But football playing goalies. Support your local leagues, kids.